So today I'm going to show you how to make a talking head video just like this one using Canva. The beautiful thing about Canva is you can add elements and edit after the fact. You can actually add another video on top of the video that you're currently playing. So let's jump in and let's get started. The first thing that you want to be aware of is where is this video going to end up? Is this a video that's going to be repurposed and you're going to try and stretch it across all of your social media sites? Or is it something that's just going to Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or TikTok? And the reason that I say that is you want to make sure that whatever video you're making is that you set the screen for that size. And that's what we call aspect ratio. So below I'll share a link of a short little video that'll talk all about aspect ratios. And it's kind of a, a hack really, and it has all of the different social media sites and the aspect ratio that you'll need to have. So to customize that, you would click on customize. Today, I'm not going to do a customized one. I'm just going to do the traditional video size, which is right here, and it's 1920 by 1080. It's a YouTube size. So when we click on Create Blank, it's going to pull up our blank canvas. And this is basically the canvas that we're going to be working with. Our timeline will end up down here on the bottom. Everyone has access to make videos like this. First thing we want to do is go to Uploads. When we click on uploads, it's going to pull up this screen right here and it's going to pull up all the files and images that you have previously uploaded. If you've never done any of that before, don't worry about it. Right here, you'll see the option where it says record yourself. We want to click on record yourself. When you click on record yourself, it's going to give you some dialog boxes that you then need to make some selections about which camera you're going to use, which screen you're going to record, which microphone you're gonna use. You can see right over here on the bottom left, that's the video that it's pulling from my laptop camera or a third party camera if I wanted to do that as well. The same thing will happen when I'm choosing a mic. So if I come up here to the dialog box, you'll see that the purple is highlighted. Well, I wanna do camera and screen. So the first thing that we need to do is select a screen that we are going to be recording or that we're gonna be demonstrating from. So I'm going to do the entire screen and I'm just going to select the second monitor, which is screen two here, and I'm going to click share. And then I'm going to go down to the camera. And instead of using the FaceTime camera, I'm going to up the game a little bit and I'm going to go to my cam link and you'll see that'll switch over to the camera that you can see in this video. And then I'm going to leave it on my Yeti microphone, but you could use your internal computer microphone. You could also use the microphone that's connected to your camera or just the straight computer microphone. Now, I'm gonna turn this camera off over here so we don't see three of me. But before I do, you can see this little arrow. One thing that you have the option to do, and the reason I wore this, is this is actually flipped for you in this video. So when I flip this around, you can see that the image is now straight, so it's not written backwards for whoever the audience is. It's a nice little uh, addition that Canva has added there. When we click on record, it's going to start with a countdown, the three, two, one countdown. You can see, you've seen this before. I have the ability to be done and just stop it. I also have the ability to pause the recording. So when I click on pause, I have the option to resume that recording. You can see right down here at the bottom, or I can just be done and click save and exit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to leave the demonstration of this and go to a video that I've already created to help you organize and add music and add some other elements from Canva. You'll see that I've already added some elements. So I'm gonna delete this so I can walk you through it step by step. So I have one screen down here in the bottom right. And what you'll notice is that I have the ability to play the talking head portion of the video, but I also have the ability to play the video or the screen recorded part of the video. The beautiful thing about this is they're two separate files. So I can repurpose them separately. I could repurpose them together. And when I say repurpose, what I mean is to come back in and edit and to throw them into a YouTube short or a reel or on TikTok or Snapchat or whatever. So you get multiple uses out of one recording. It's a beautiful thing that they've done here. So when I have my talking head, I can move this around and um, I can make it bigger or smaller by just grabbing it where I get those arrows, you can see here, I can just make it as big, as small as I want. So when I come to my timeline on the bottom and I hit control, I can actually duplicate this page, I can add notes to it, I can delete this page, I don't want to, or I can add an additional page. I can also add images here. So if I'm going to do a slideshow, we'll talk about this when we add music, but it will actually 
sync to the music or the music will sync to the slideshow or the photo show. If you're doing some sort of end of the year ceremony where you're celebrating kids, the beat will hit right on the change of the picture. So it's really cool. So here we have elements in the top left up here. When I click on elements, I have all of these different elements that I can add. Now I'm gonna add this sticker right here. Grab this little finger sticker and I'm gonna bring it over here. It's way too big. So I'm gonna shrink this guy down just by grabbing the corner, dragging and dropping here. And I actually wanna have it just like right there on the play with video. Kind of like what I showed you guys at the beginning. And I already have some audio here. I'm gonna delete delete this audio and what you'll notice though is that my the finger that I have this sticker is throughout the entire timeline and in order to kind of shrink that down just where I want it I hit control or left click and I click on show timing and then I'm going to bring this guy and I'm going to shrink it down so at the very very beginning go there you'll see that it just does that little click. I want to add some audio to that. When I go up to search elements, you'll see that down at the bottom, I have some audio options. Now I've already pre-formatted this, so I know what I'm looking for, but I wanna have just a mouse click. And I don't know if you heard that, I'm gonna turn that up a little bit. Just a little mouse click sound. I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna drop that below my timeline, and I'm gonna put it at the very, very beginning. So when I play this video, you'll hear me talking, you'll see the finger move, and you'll hear the little mouse click. So here we go. So this is an example of what... Now I can change that volume and I can grab that, but let's say I wanna have some underlying track of music. Uh, I have this ukulele song here, so I'm gonna grab that and I want to... So right after I click, the ukulele music is gonna start, so we'll play that for you. So I'm gonna grab my timeline, go all the way back to the beginning. So this is an example of... So the problem with that music is it was a little overpowering. So when I come down to the track itself, I'm going to left click and click on volume and I can adjust that volume here. So it was at 100%. I think we can take it down to 20, say here. And then I'm gonna replay this just so you can hear it again and see kind of what it sounds like now. So this is an example of what video. So to... we've toned the music down just a little bit. The nice thing about this is you can see this track right here. I've got these lines here. That's actually the beat of the music. So if I'm doing like a photo slideshow or if I'm put together like a PowerPoint or a presentation in Canva and I want the music to line up, those will automatically lock in place to the beat of the song. So it's pretty awesome. Um, uh, once, once you're done with everything, right, you have the option to change the volume up here. You can add audio effects. You can add a ton of different things here. Um, if I want to adjust this video here and um, kind of, let's see, edit the video. So I'm gonna go to my talking head portion and click on edit video. It's gonna pull up some options here where I can go a little bit more festive. I can kind of do a summer version if I wanted to, an afterglow version. And you'll see that I kind of get these effects, right? These filters on this talking head portion down here. I can do the same with the big video up here but I really want that to be kind of clean and crisp and pure, right? The way that Canva is meant to be done. So I can also add um, some of the transparency here. So if I want my video to be a little bit transparent, I can change that a little bit. So you can start to see there's a lot of different things that you can do uh, with Canva and these kind of talking head screen recording videos. I'm not gonna go into a ton more details. This was just a how-to version of this. Once we're done with everything, you can share this out. Now, before you share it out to your social media sites, you wanna make sure again that you have the aspect ratio correctly. And that's why it's so important at the beginning that you know what you wanna do. However, if you wanna repurpose this, you can, and that's the beautiful part. If you go back to your uploads and elements, uploads and then go to video, if you go back to your uploads and go to videos, you'll see here that you have both versions of the video. You have the talking head portion and you have the screen recorded portion. So you can go back and repurpose any of those and resize those. Once we're done, we can share this out. Not only can we share this out to our social media sites, we can share it to Google uh, Drive, we can share it to Microsoft, right? We can download this as a uh, MP4 video. We have a lot of different options here, but when we click on more, you'll see that we can actually turn this individual video into a website, we can send it as a QR code, we can embed it somewhere, we can copy it to the clipboard, we can share the link for anybody to watch. Again, there's all of our socials, there's our download where we can save it to, we can go to our messaging apps, we also have our design apps if you wanna throw it back into something else to edit. You have a ton of different options here. If you're here, it's most likely because you're a small business owner or a teacher or an educator looking to up your game. 
And I appreciate so much that you've stopped on this video and given me the time to explain this process to you. I love what you do for kids and I love the grit and grind that you have to get better and learn and to do what's best for you and your business, or your classroom, or your school. It means a lot to me. I'm a teacher, I'm an administrator, I'm a small business owner. So that hustle and grind, I absolutely love. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope this brought you value. And if it did, do whatever you need to do to show me that it was valuable to you. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm so glad that you're here.